I'm so excited. We are here staying at Frau and Fields in West Wales. And this is Helen, who runs it with her husband, Ash, and their two children, Ben and Joe. And we are going to stay in their 5.8 meter dome, who is also manufactured by True Domes, like we've got. Um, so this is Helen, and she is going to show us around the dome, and show us where we're staying, and show us what Frau and Fields has to offer. So you've also got some uh, camping pictures and some camper van pictures, that oh, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we're going to go and see it all and show you around. Okay, so should we go and have a look around? You can show us all around. Let's right, go. let's go. So, so we've got the shower room. So okay. the shower room. This is so exciting, this was all stables, was it? It was all stables. And you converted was, everything. It was the tack room. Oh, wow. Everything runs on solar in the stables, so lights yeah. on, lights off. And then, yeah, everything's been converted from being, as you can still see parts of it, um, the tack room into like a shower block. Yeah, it's brilliant. And this is EcoFly, which is the same stuff we've been using for yurt bases and dome bases, yeah. which is amazing stuff made from like recycled plastic. And it's only in Wales as well, isn't it, yeah. that they manufacture it. And it's easy, really easy to clean, isn't it? Obviously? Yeah, like yeah. Hygienic, we've done a similar thing in our showers, like this shower board stuff that you can yeah. just wipe, wipe clean on. much easier. So you've got a couple of sinks, you've got showers, it's three showers, yeah. yeah, two sinks. Brilliant. So this is where we'll be showering later. And then let's carry on. So we've got a fridge and freezer. Can you know freezer? That, that's really good. Yeah. So you can freeze rice box and then keep your milk fresh. And yeah. Kind of thing. Amazing. And so then this is washing up area. Yeah. yeah. So we've got um, just trying to encourage people not to drink water from plastic bottles, but be able to have water to take to their pitches and things like that. Yeah. So just reusing what we've got basically. Um, food compost waste because everything basically isn't waste, it's a part of our greener ethos um, here. And then yeah, communal sink and drinking water. Cool. And then we've got our craft shop. Um, now this is exciting, shop. so this is kind of like an added extra that you could offer people a bit. Yeah. You're into crafting. I love crafting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm kind of hoping that I'll be able to offer some craft workshops for people that are here. Oh, that'd be um, and then also I've got my crafts on display for purchasing if anybody would like to. Yeah. And we've got our own eggs, we've got local honey, we've got locally made Welsh cakes, and then we've got our sundress element as well. So. Yeah. Brilliant. So I'd love to see what you've got to say over here. So this looks cool. It's our free activity zone. So we've got just a couple of outdoor games, hoopla, tin can alley, um, we've got bowling, and then just a couple of ideas for people that maybe aren't used to being outside. So a couple of things that are available from within the yeah, shop. Yeah, you had a go at this, didn't you? You liked hoopla. Yeah, I'm good at hoopla. Right, you could have a go. Go and have a go at the games. We need to feed the animals at some point. So there's our feeding chart, so we know how many animals and which ones we can get. <laughs> I'm hungry. Excellent, you're milking a goat. <laughs> Such a good job. Can William have a go? Mm -hmm. Excellent. William, get your hand. Get her tight. Wow, done. So keep going. Yeah. Tip it up, William. Grand job. There you go, give it a shake, William. <laughs> Right, not that, I really think not, not for this pig, I don't well think. Well done. So that's Carriad and that was oh, her dinner. No. These guys are really hungry. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Shovel, just let me the bucket. So we need to make sure it kind of goes in the trough, so I'm just going to help you. Oh, yeah. A bit over here. A bit there for Pop uh, Percy. We really don't even spill it, so it's quite expensive. And then they've all got a bit of a later now. It's all on their heads. <laughs> Below like when Brian stores all, food in his beard for later. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Save a bit for later. <laughs> We've got two ducks in the net. So the, the black 
one is a girl, she's an Indian runner. Oh, yeah. And the other one is a boy, and he's a Welsh harlequin. And a Welsh harlequin's a rare breed duck. Oh, wow. And then there's the chicken. Cock a doodle doo. So we've got Rocky the, rock, the cockerel. And then three speckled Sussex hens. <laughs> <laughs> My husband's from Sussex, and then the white ones are white Sussex hens. Right, let's go and have a look at the dome. a true domes 5.8 meter dome and um, they've done it really beautifully and they've got like cork on the floor and the matting's really lovely so they've made up our bed for us which is really lovely and then we've got some camp beds for the kids um, they've got the anive stove that um, true domes apply so that will hopefully keep us nice and cozy we've got some firewood and bits and pieces like that um, oh what's over here kids oh, Welsh cake who wants to try a Welsh cake? Me. That looks nice. And then, oh, it looks like we can go and get um, milk from a milk, milk yeah. vending machine. So that would be quite, that would be quite fun. Cool. So go and do that. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look in the book here. Oh, these are coasters, I think. So, oh, well, they've got a really comprehensive book of stuff to do. It's so lovely to sit out here and you've got forests and there's a little campfire down there we've got loads to well she's got 22 acres to explore so we've got we can go up there and have a look at the view over for the sunset and things like that so we're definitely going to do that later um and yeah we've got some solar powered lighting and she's sort of everything like putting um umbrellas there and um little lumps that's cool isn't it yeah, and, dream catcher. and a dream catcher that's very yeah, important torches, over there. torches brilliant yeah we can look up the wildflowers it's lovely. So I love the fact that they've made this like porch area so that if it's raining you can kind of get your boots off, get your coats off and stuff like that and then you can get in the dome under the dryer. I think that's a really good idea. And they've also got this outdoor kitchen area which I'll show you now. So nice big picnic bench and then you've got a camping stove here so you can make a cup of tea in the morning. And then they've got all these boxes full of things like cutlery and plates and um, cups and glasses and that sort of thing. And food waste bins over it, and got herbs and salt and things like that. So um, yeah, so we can go, we've got water bottles here, so they try and recycle as much as possible. So we can go up and get water and bring it down here, because there's no water or electric. This is a greener camping club, so it's all completely off grid. Um, so the lighting's run off the solar and it's a composting toilet as well. So they've tried to make it as eco-friendly as possible, which is brilliant. So here's the compost loo. It's just like your standard compost loo. If you're a man, you've got to sit down to wee and then you put the sawdust in afterwards and they've got hand sanitizer. So it's absolutely perfect. Does the job exactly as you want you to. You know, it's right next to the dome. So you haven't got to go miles and miles for the loo. Let's go and see the campfire area. So again, you can see Helen's um, passion for upcycling. She's got a washing machine drum, barbecue wheel on the top, and then these lovely little log seats, which are just perfect for your toasted marshmallows. And then it's so lovely that you've got your own private campfire that you can sit as a family and um, make your s'mores. So the kids are doing a brilliant job of showing you the lovely little stream that they've got right next to it. And this is gonna be hours now of entertainment for the kids because, I mean, they're in it already, in their wellies. All right, come here, William. Ooh, careful! Ooh. Right, oh. Careful! I think we're gonna need more socks. Not used to hills on the sunset levels. <laughs> so you get a lovely view up here. See the dome and the trees and the woodland. It's lovely. So you can walk around the fields. And um, I think from up here we can see where all the chickens were, where we fed the pigs. And um, she says there's some lovely sunsets over by the hills over there. So we'll wait for that later.
Wanna set up your beds? Yeah. I'm really excited. We've got these big hoodies to wear if we get cold. So uh, Brian and I have both got a, a giant hoodie each, which is very exciting. Brian's birthday today, so we've come on a trip around Skoma Island to have a look at the puffins. There are literally thousands of them, and hopefully, we'll see some seals too. We're going to see the puffins. Puffins, yeah, we're puffins. going around this is Skoma Island, and we thought we would come on a yeah, quick boat are. trip. Anywhere within 25 is here. Obviously, they get an upmarket burrow, it's safe there to bring the young group, so they will bring the uh, the young bird up to their own weight or even end up in the So it's our last night at Found Fields, so we're going to have a little campfire and do some marshmallow toasting. Not like we don't do that. <laughs> so much our place. But it's extra special when you're relaxing and glamping somewhere else. Um, so yeah, marshmallow toasting it is. We've had a brilliant time in the dome and we've absolutely loved our stay here.